The time has come to have a look at another Z-Box, the mystery box made for geeks. Apparently that's not even... And I have absolutely no idea what month this is for. Uh, with Canada Post and all the couriers kind of getting things messed up right now here in Canada, and Z-Box arriving sort of near the end of last month. I want to speculate, and of course it's speculation only, that this is the box for November. I could very well still be surprised and it be October, and of course I could easily just go back onto the channel and figure out what was the last box that I had opened up. Maybe you guys can help me with that. Not that I'm going to be able to read it while I'm cutting this open. I guess I could have done this as a live stream, but in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and get this opened up with assistance, par assistance, by my trusty knife, my reliable go-to comrade in life, Old Red. She's going to assist in getting this opened up. If you guys are interested in subscribing to the Z-Box, I'll put the link down below. And together, you and me and Tommy22 makes three, we're going to figure out together what month this box is for. I hope that there's going to be some indication inside as to what exactly box this is derived from what month. But uh, let's find out. I hope that there's going to be something inside to tell us. First thing we're going to have a look at is Lobster Johnson. The vinyl figure from Hellboy. This is from Pop Comics number four. And there's all the figures that are in the pop variety. There's Hellboy, there's Liz Sherman, Abe Sapien. Uh, there's also, of course, Lobster Johnson, Rasputin, and Queen of Blood. All from the Funko line, which I'm not, again, super crazy about Funkos. You know me. I know you. We know each other because kind of we've been doing this, this journey together for a very long time, coming up 10 years. Can you believe that? 10 years that this channel has been existing. It's not 100% true. I'm kind of distorting the facts a little bit. It's coming up in February. February 2019 will mark 10 years. Sit for a second and think about that. 10 years I've been doing this stuff. But you know me well enough to probably know that I'm not a big fan of Funko Pop vinyl figures, but uh, this one does look pretty cool, and I think I like it because it's got the big, bright yellow eyes, kind of sort of like bug eyes. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to put that over to the side. Uh, what else do we have in here? This is Dead Rising 4 from Capcom, and it says from Loot Crate. Maybe they have, maybe they somehow acquire some of the old Loot Crate stuff kicking around. Let's see what we got, though. Get it out, get it out, get it out, get it out. There we go. Uh, Dead Rising, and what do we have inside? Oh, oh, what is this? Is this a Swiss Army knife sort of thing? Opens up, let's see what we got here. We got a pair of pliers, a pair of pliers. And we've got, is that a flashlight? How does that turn on? Oh, there we go. Oh, look at that. A bright flashlight. And what else? Any of these open up? I don't think they do. Uh, we got some screw bits. Got what looks to be a knife. Get my finger in there. I don't have I don't have my finger. Well I have I <laughs> I have fingers. Let's grab this little tool here. It's got some nail clippers. Speaking of tools, this is tools that I use for clipping ties sometimes on figures that I have a look at. Just kind of fish all the stuff out here. Fish, fish, fish. We got a screwdriver. We got a nail file. We've got a bottle opener. We've got a screwdriver. And we've got ourselves a flashlight. And we've got, of course, a uh, pair of pliers. That's pretty cool. I like that. And it, on the side it says Frank West. So that can always come in handy, almost as much as this came in handy for me to open this. That's one of the problems that you face when you uh, you cut your nails. You know, it's always those first little moments after you cut your nails that you you can literally you can't grab anything. I mean, you can grab stuff, but trying to open things that would normally require your nails, it's impossible. But it's the price that I pay for certainly this channel. And for just uh, common decency, because nobody wants to see if you got big gnarly nails. We've also got the Thing limited edition coin. 
which has a recreation of the image there on the top from the poster artwork and there's what the back looks like it's exclusive to z-box individually numbered and embossed on both sides it's also the silver edition and that's what the other side looks like that's what this side looks like that's a pretty cool looking coin i love the original thing do you well not the original thing uh, the remake thing the carpenter thing uh, we also got ourselves a series of buttons from the new move those out of the way button badges from it the remake of it, which was a fantastic remake. I'm very excited to see what they're going to do with the second it. Uh, we also got ourselves a t-shirt. This one's kind of neat because it's three-dimensional. Look at that. You need, you need yourself a pair of x-ray specs. X-ray specs, I say, to be able to make that out. You could probably still see it. it says Universal Tales of Monster Terror. Monstero, that's actually what it says, Monstero, Monsterer, the Wolfman, Terror Strikes in Three Dimensions, nice, nice t-shirt, and what else do we have in here, we got ourselves a comic, Stranger Things variant one of four from Dark Horse Comics, that is neat. Demogorgons all on the top there. Let's have a look at some of the artwork. Decent looking artwork. Now it looks, based on what I'm solely seeing from the only few pages that I've looked at so far, that it looks like it is a adaptation of the miniseries, the first season. It's one of four and maybe it does play through the same, you know, the same story from the first season. I like the artwork, I have to say, I'm impressed by the artwork. There's 11. Oh, look at this, Black Hammer, Age of Doom. I like the artwork on that too. Mystery Science Theater 3000. So it's only one of four. In other words, you're not gonna be able to see the rest of it unless you get the rest of the issues. I don't recognize what's happening here. Is this a new, are we into a new, oh, we are into a new comic. There's the end of the last comic, issue one of four, and then we make our way right into Mystery Science Theater 3000, the comic. That's That would ex certainly explain why the artwork was so, so very different from what we had looked at previously. And some advertisements for the Umbrella Academy and War Bears. War Bears. <laughs> There's the back of it. Uh, unfortunately, there doesn't. There's no card inside telling us which month this was. So, me being no detective whatsoever. However, I am resourceful. I'm going to go back and have a look on the channel and see what I did last for the Z box. That might be some indication then as to what this month's box would be. And don't worry, it's it's going to work its way out in the wash. I'm going to figure it out. You'll know in the title when uh, this eventually gets posted. If you guys are interested though in subscribing to the Z-Box, getting yourself a bunch of collectibles and comics, I'd say almost my favorite thing from this, in all honesty, is the uh, the Swiss Army knife or the Frank West knife, a little survival knife. I think that's pretty handy to have, especially you know, if you're trekking out somewhere. I like the fact that it's got a little portable light, so that's not so bad at all. Um, then we got some pins, we got a t-shirt, got a comic. Yeah, it's some pretty cool stuff inside. I just have absolutely no idea what month this is, but don't worry, I'll figure it out. I'm pretty good for that, figuring, figuring stuff out. If you guys haven't had a chance to hit that little subscribe button down below, what exactly are you waiting for? There's certainly going to be more videos coming onto this channel. Lots more videos coming onto this channel, and I'm doing a little bit of brainstorming behind the scenes, trying to figure out what I should do for the 10 years. 10 years of doing this stuff here. No, I'm not playing an imaginary piano. If you guys have any ideas what you would like to see me do for 10 years of doing YouTube, let me know down below in the comments section. We'll kind of just throw around some ideas. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.